you need to know how to configure the resource requirements for the ports such as CPU and the memory. This configuration has two levels. Number one is how much resources this container is requesting. That will be used by the port scheduler to identify the correct node to place this port and the port can utilize more than the requested resources. How much maximum of resources that it can utilize will be configured with the limits configuration. When you are configuring the CPU, this is equivalent to one hyperthread or else if you are using AWS, it will be equivalent to one CPU. If you are in GCP, that will be equivalent to one core. And if you are in Azure, that will be equivalent to one Azure core. When you configure the CPU as 0.1, that is equivalent to 100M and the minimum value for the CPU is 1M. When you are configuring the memory, if the unit is not defined, that means you are configuring it with the byte level. You can use KI, MI, GI to represent the kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte in the binary scale. If you want to configure it in the decimal scale, you can use KMG to represent kilobyte, megabyte, and gigabyte. When you are creating a pod with kubectl run command, you can pass this request CPU and the memory requirements using minus minus request parameter. Then you can provide how much CPU and how much memory with comma separated. You can pass the limits using minus minus limits and the CPU and the memory requirement. This is how it will look like in the YAML definition. You can see under the containers, there will be resources section. Then you will have the limits, CPU, memory, and the request CPU and memory. When the pod tries to utilize more CPU than the limits, the Kubernetes will throttle the CPU. And when the pod tries to utilize more memory, than the defined limit, the pod will get terminated with the status OOM killed. If you want to define default CPU and memory request and limit values for a namespace, you can use limit range configurations for that. This is how the limit range definition would look like. Inside that you will be defining what is the namespace. Default request section will be used to define the resource request requirements. Default section will be used to define the limits. Resource quotas can be created for a namespace to limit how much ports can be configured within that namespace and then all together how much resources that it can utilize, how much resources that it can request using the ports and then request CPU, request memory, limit CPU and limits memory. You can use kubectl commands to create this resource quota. You can use kubectl create quota and then provide a name. Then afterwards you can use minus minus hard, then provide what are my resource requirement limitations inside that. 